Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fablehaven Age of Wonders. For the soon-to-be Lich Lord Kel'Thuzad continues his journey in the Eastern Kingdoms. Thank you all for your support on the first episode. I'm glad you are enjoying the series, so I thought we'd have a lovely weekend back-to-back -back special. So we're back again. And uh, there are a few things that need to be named. First up, our brave champion, Lyra Ravenbeak, is obviously not a raven. So she needs a proper title. Now, I don't really need to change her appearance, except that, of course, the character we're about to give her, Lady Jandis Berov, was a spellcaster, an archmage of Dalaran, just like Keldazad, but instead a subordinate to him. Unlike a ruler that we are. Oops, no. Did she have the black mage we've sent? I think she did. That was very, shall we say, scantily clad. But we'll just go with this. Even though right now she's a combatant, but uh, the real Lady Jandis Berov was an, a master illusionist. In fact, the Mages of Dalaran called her technique almost infallible. Which is quite the compliment. We'll go with this. By the way, this mod uh, that's allowing me to use everyone's clothing, which is cool, is the customization for you, I think. It basically just unlocks all the customization and removes its restrictions to being the champions or wizard kings. Uh, it's great, and I'm never not going to use it <laughs> moving forward. But anyway, Lady Jandis Berov, of course, is home not to Ultravicalis, to Skolomance. Keradaro belonged to the Berov family, and Keldhuzad first established the Cult of the Dam in its crypts, where it became a school for necromancers, and where the Berov family eventually turned their back on Lordaeron. So thank you all for the suggestions. That was the first of several. There will be more. And we have a very special plan for Manapont. These traitors dare oppose their master. And so, we are going to turn their pathetic little settlement into a wonderful place. A fortress of undeath. Now the question is, do I just grab this first? I think I do. But I'm not exactly as strong as I could be, aren't I? Hmm. Do you have support skills, Miss Jandis Barov? Fantastic. Here's what we're going to do. You are going to step out. And take this stack. Smaug will join our Lich Lord. And we'll just pretend that this will work out. Will it? Maybe. Maybe. You approach the Scorched Forge, expecting to see the workers busily smithing. Instead, frowning smiths are sitting outside the forge, muttering. The forge master explains that the entire forge is suddenly overheated. No matter how we douse the flames, the heat only grew more intense. It is as though Yaka himself decided to make this place his throne. The smiths behind him nod in agreement. I swear the flames have come alive, one of them adds, covering his face. The smiths look to you and your troops, hoping a lich lord like you can help them. How do you quench an unquenchable fire? Hmm. Five turns of production being blocked. Well, of course, the fire shall be quenched with blood. Oof, okay. Wow. This might have been a little preemptive. When defend when a defending magma spirit is killed, it spawns one lesser magma spirit. Okay. Alrighty. How do you burn a spirit of fire? Did my soother die? Hmm. 
think it did. I'm going to heal the Lesser Tidal Spirit, because I think that that will be uh, immensely effective here. Now remember, the Fire Spirits are uh, ranged units. So if we can get on them, good things can happen. Unfortunately, I do fire damage, which is hilarious. I'm sorry, is hilarious the word? We will take, in fact, more opportunity here, but I am going to waddle over here. We are tying up two units. And now I'm going to ablate some people. So there are a few ways we can make this work. The first way... Perfect. Don't be a banshee. Fantastic. The first way in which we make this work is we just start spawning stuff to, uh... Peace freeze. What phenomenal RNG. We just start freezing stuff, but additionally, if we can somehow make a bunch of necrotized decaying doggos, not doggos, poor sod, uh, decaying zombies, things will go well. Oh, is my research done? That'd be fantastic if it is. Because these are tier three units, non racial tier three units. And do you know what a non-racial tier 3 unit can do for you? I know what a non-racial tier 3 unit can do for you. By the way, I think if we actually kill this with a... Necrotize, it won't come back. It will. Well, they're all pinned, so... That's that. I'd like it if these little lesser snow spirits survive, but it's possible they won't. They are sacrificial. We have one final turn of our summoned corrupted spirits. And we're going to have to make a count. So we'll deal with this. I'm going to try and get my tide spirit up in there. Because I think that'll be the most beneficial. And then we're going to use Kel'Thuzad. Kel'Thuzad! be fantastic if this was a kill. It would, in fact, be phenomenal if this was a kill. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we should go down the arcane tree. I suppose I can try and give it a target. And by give it a target, I mean kill it, and then spawn these. And then zap them. Actually, we'll just kill that. Cool. These do not count as combat summons, which is very unfortunate. But thankfully, all's well that ends well. We did lose an Arcanist and a Snow Spirit, but I can always get those back. Fantastic. We lost two Snow Spirits. The Forge Flames Flicker and glow. I don't actually think I had the tech yet. Darn it. No longer raging out of control. The Forge Master grins from ear to ear. Your clever resourcefulness is rare, O oh, Lich Lord. I do not suppose you want a job working here with us. If we can respond, the Forge Master bursts into an explosive laughter. <laughs> no offense meant, Lich Lord. I am sure your ambitions are far bigger than simple work we do here. Still, the Forge Master nods. We are indebted to you, Lich Lord. Godir of the Scorched Forge. Name your price. Now we could get gold, the Monster Slayer, Funbow, or the Helm of the Warrior. Let's go with the Helm of the Warrior. It's actually an exceptional piece. And the draft brute, uh, brute force this Arcanus. Which means... We'll wait. I'm gonna unfortunately have that'll be pillaged, but this one is. And now the helm of the warrior is gonna go to Jandis. This is probably one of the best helmets in the game. 
honestly. Because damage is good, I love damage. Peltuzov. Ooh, combat casting. Ah. Go with endurance training. Smaug the Terrible. Can grab his aspect. And I think I just do what I did last time. Or, you know, in his playthrough where we just go Materium Aspect. This gives him 30% crit hit chance and plus 2 defense. I actually think it's one of the best. 5 status resist from Order Aspect? Oh my. Oh, you know what? We could do Shadow. Because we... Hmm, do we do Shadow? We will have Soul Synergy. Let's try Shadow. Smaug has spent too long around Aratus and he's been infected. <laughs> infected by the glory. I might go Cone. Do we try and line? So the way these work, the Dragon Breath Comet is meta, quote unquote. Um, because you can use it from like a huge, it's a five range attack and it's just a one hex radius. The Cone is my personal favorite because it's a traditional Dragon Breath. And then line is as the name suggests, a huge line. Five hex long line. And it does the most damage of all of them. And I've never really used it. I'm still... I'm not... I'm still not convinced. I'm just gonna go down. The tried and the true, and we will, of course, reinforce ourselves with more snow spirits. I was one turn short. Maybe I should have waited. I don't know, team. Maybe. Now, once we, once I meet the ninth and final player, I'll just let all the scouts do their stuff by themselves. They can go auto-explore, because I believe they are drawn to the mystic orbs. Like, if they see one, they'll go get it. How you doing, bud? That's, uh, that's two things you got in your domain, my friends. Now, it's just a tier 3 settlement, but I might be able to take it alone. We'll see. You're doing great rivalry between Anastarian and Blint, and I can make a bounty. I'm not going to capture Manafort, because I want to capture Manafort. It's mine! The traitors will pay. Probably should have waited a turn, huh? The Bone Daddy's rebuffed from tier 1 to tier 3 units, which honestly... Okay, it wasn't the best... On paper, that was not the best buff that Necromancers received. In my heart, it was. What does this stack need? It's getting another spell shield. This Arcanist will join soon. Shall we give it a Snow Spirit? You know what? Let's do it. It still needs one more thing. How close are we to the next hero? Ooh, pretty far. Ah, uh, we'll just get another Arcanist. It's fine. I can boost it next turn. We're saving all of our Empyrean because we're about to take a city. Silly hidden water. And I was informed that the Mystics on the map do all squabble for the same uh, projections, astral echoes. We're at 34, by the way. Which means our, our Seer of the Spirit thing is going to be giga big. Oops, no. Looks like Gelbin is expanding nicely. Oh, that was Antonitis, excuse me. I gave Antonitis the zebra because Dalaran is known for having... <laughs> uh, Dalaran is known for having, like, unique stuff. Unique animals and unique prisoners, specifically. Um, so the question is... One... It wouldn't be impossible to expand this far, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get an outpost growing, and I should have done that last turn with Jandis, who I'm not going to make the same mistake with. And I'll just let her chill there. If you're good with the research, I would love, 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 love. Do I do it? You know, we could do Rotting Explosion for the random-ass skeletons we're making. Let's try it. 
Assuming I remember it exists. Which I won't. <laughs> so that means if we do... Ah, the ninth and final character. Ladies and gentlemen. Nerjul. So, a new ruler has appeared in this realm of schemes and conquests. Welcome, Kel'Thuzad. Let us hope we can manipulate this realm together. Now, this is one of the characters that contended for the major advantage. Oh, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Everyone has minor advantage. That is a plus 15% increased damage, minus 15% damage received, except for one character. I gave Aeonis major advantage because he is the, the scheme and manipulator behind this alternative reality. Uh, alternative timeline. But this is Nerjul. Uh... I'd love to say he needs no introduction, but allow me to introduce him nevertheless. The Scourge and its master is but an instrument of a greater will. With their dominion over the frozen lands of Northrend complete, Nerjul calls out to those of great magical inclination to set in motion a scheme to complete his hollow spirit. But an interloper has interfered. Without the expected aid of mortal traitors, the master of necromancy cobbles together a form of Saronite armor to step foot into the realm of the living himself. All will kneel before the frozen throne, lest the fallen titan erase what little remains of his existence. So this is the Lich King. Lich King Nerjul the Hollow. And uh, there's a lot of alternate lore happening here. He is our dark culture representative, of course. And uh, I also realized this symbol is from Ball. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. But um, he leads the Scourge, who are another race of humans that have Arctic adaptation. They are hardy and they have the hideous stench because they're supposed to be hideous undead. They are ritual cannibals and scions of evil. I really wanted this, but he deserved it the most. So the story of the Lich King is really long, and it has been retconned to make things worse. But basically, originally, Nerjul was a warlock. We'll give him a gift. He actually likes me, which is funny. Should we you know what? Should I befriend him? <laughs> Let's befriend the Lich King. Nerjul was an orc warlock from Draenor, and he dealt with the fallen titan Sargeras. Um or was tricked into doing it. He's known, like, as Nerjul the Thrice Tricked or something. Ah, oh, that wasn't a lot of money, my dude. Oh, we'll take it. And, uh, Sargeras captured his soul and bound him to the Frozen Throne, where he became the Lich King. And his whole grand scheme was... We got the Bone Daddy. Uh, he called out to mages in the realm, and Kel'Thuzad heard the call, and would give them absolute mastery over necromancy in exchange for their soul, and using that, he would spread his influence uh, beyond the frozen continent of Northrend. I want to press this button so bad. But we're we're going to refrain. I want this one as well, but we're not going to do anything in this tree until we get the next city. Friendship between Terranus and Curridon. Well, that makes sense. Magistrate Quilneal Savinium of Syracourt has fallen. Wait, what? Where's my vassal? Why can't I go to them? What's going on here, vassal? I don't remember where you are. Well, hopefully it's fine. You're going to die soon. So, uh, Nerjul's here, but he didn't... His call was interrupted by Aeonis, of course, the grand schemer here. So, uh, Kel'Thuzad never went, no one else ever went, and uh, he has to do it himself. Just like we're pursuing necromancy ourselves, he is taking care of his business by himself. And it's not going to go well for him. So we can prevent him if we want. I don't have two farms. You what, mate? Hmm. 
button. Okay, there we go. JK. Oh, it's in ruins, so it's being silly. Please don't die. Okay, take care of this. Don't worry about it. So yeah. I thought it'd be fun to include uh Nerjul. There were <laughs> there were a lot of comments in the first episode saying for Nerjul button uh in this campaign, we're not allied with Nerjul. I mean, not innately. We can be. We can join hands with Nerjul. I forgot to mention what he says what he is, but he is a sinister spy. Which is completely unsurprising. Please don't kill that. Wow, okay. I forgot how uh absolutely devastating the embarkation debuff was. Does this is do what I think it does, it does. I made a mistake. Hmm. I'm gonna lose this. Okay. We'll do a stun, see what happens. Shite. Alright. Well. He's dead. He's dead. So that's all nine players met. Uh, moving forward. Wouldn't it be funny if I lose even more than the AI? I think we'll be okay, though. I'll just let the AI uh, scout to their heart's contents. I'm gonna go this way. And we're gonna bring you up. Do that. We did freeze that guy. Just played him. I have the Arcanus. Kang nailed it. Please don't lose more than the AI. I think we're good, team. I think the freeze was clutch. Which is what I thought. I, I knew the freeze would be clutch. Just kill that. It survived because I grazed. Rude. It slowed. You know what that means. It loses its retaliation. The joke that never ends. This is the joke that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. I lost a shield unit. What do we want here? Losing a shield unit sucks, but we'll take this full arm guy and put him in there. All right. Oh, I can use this opportunity to repair that. Cool. We have some pillaging going on here. Yelbin's getting spicy. Oh, I found Dalaran. Look at that. So... I'm going to start autoing them. Now that we've located Dalaran, wow, you're over here, eh? No wonder I couldn't find you. Now that we've located Dalaran, I can just, uh, excuse me. Now that we have located Nerjul, we can begin just the uh, the great auto exploration. And here's the frozen throne. I gave them Artek Adaptation, expecting they'd be in the north, and they're not. Do I have a... Are you want a defensive act? Sure. So we are currently on friendly terms with the Kingdom of Lordaeron. 
Seer of Angela, and Seer of the Free City of Helix Hold greets you with a sage smile. She is already the vassal of King Taranus. That's fine. Now that we are on friendly terms with them, all according to Keikanku. Ooh, restore undead army. That's probably really helpful. We can start waddling through their territory. Three turns to repair? Are you out of your... It'll be fine. It's fine. There's the temporal conflict. I'm not sure why I know that. Look at all these bubbles. <gasps> oh. Remember when I said I was going to let the AI do its thing? I lied. You have crossed me, Lich Lord Kel of Uzad. Oh, I trespassed. Sorry, bud. Wait, I'm not that sorry. I get a mirror mimic? Really? Wow, okay. That's a fucking dragon. Look at some of the auto explorers are doing well. Proud of them. We're gonna grab this. I have a glorious name for this for mana font as well. Uh -huh. Wow. They do Mr. Ooh. A low risk battle. Where we lose two sages in the title spirit. I would really like it if we could get the title spirit to tier three. It's pretty uncommon to have the uh the actual title spirit, you know? Alrighty. I have uh, refreshed once because I my goal was to save the title spirit and I failed to do that. I don't think I would have lost much more, but the title spirit suffered. And um, this little guy, I mean, he's getting there very slowly. I hope he can make it. It'd be cool if he could make it. I don't remember the last time I had a real title spirit. Speaking of. Oh, you guys are thick. The reason I lost him is this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go tie up this guy. Uh, of course. Never mind. I'm just gonna chill. I guess I'm already facing that way. Everyone will go into defense mode. We'll bing chill. I'm not even surprised that this got insta stunned. I wish I were, but I'm not. Oh, you get your little astral echo. So the Ascension Wildfire is actually very similar to my breath attack, which is hilarious. Although it doesn't have my new uh, shadow stuff going for it, but... Hey. That's what I'm just... This gets in the way. I don't know if I can kill him. Might be tough. Hmm. Could lose quite a lot here. I don't like that. I slowed him. I'm trying to get her through so she can AoE from here. And Zone of Control is not going to let me do that. My extreme lack of... Uh, of AoE units. Sorry, your Zone of Controlling me? Fine, whatever. I object. I object all day. I should probably shouldn't have stood there. Hmm. 
I'm a little worried about what's going to happen to um, Smaug, because this guy's going to pop out of his refuge. Okay, no man. Here's a question. In the attempt to protect the lesser tidal spirit, how much is it acceptable to lose? You know? Like, we very clearly have our goal. Wait. Hmm. There we go. But if I lose more than intended in the pursuit of that goal, was it worth it? He's Astral Refuge, so we're going to lose, at the very least, we're losing a Skeleton Warrior and a Skeleton Spearman. It's fair enough. See, that's what I didn't want. Yes, let the decaying zombie do damage. On me, what are you talking about? I'm Smaug. And oh. just to blade him is fine. All right, wind our turn. I have successfully. How did you gain morale? You're dying, and not just a little bit either, I'm dying a lot. The world is full of mysteries. I should be able to resurrect people as well. So we lost two skeleton warriors and a skeleton spearman. Well, good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Ugh. Oh, the bone daddies. I don't even care about the other things. Give me the bone daddy. Unfortunately, they can't move, but don't worry. I'm broke, still. Anyway, we'll undermine the moss. Four turn siege. I wish I could see how much it will take for me to take this over, but. And if Keldazad is attacked by some minor miracle, he will be aided. Alright. The ruins are being rebuilt. You know what? We can let the Kraken spawn go. We're not evil yet. Speaking of yet, I did get a suggestion to, no, oh, to change Kel'Thuzad's title from Lich Lord to like the ne like Necromancer or something, or Headmaster would also make sense. Just uh, for a little bit. You already have a golden golem. Oh, jealous. Um, work out. Just until, you know, we actually become a lich. Which, uh, it's a good suggestion. But it does require a little effort. Also, I don't know if you create the character and give them their title. Would he keep his title if you edit him? To keep his new title if you edit it mid camp. I mean, you could always edit him back in the main screen, so maybe that's not even a good point. Anyway, I'm I'm lazy. Smaug the terrible. He's leveled up. And maybe we go Ancient Governor. Of course I can't use Ancient Governor yet. Don't worry. I will be able to. We go condemned here. Ooh, Ring of the Zealot is good. We'll take it. 
And Jandis Berov leveled up. Endurance training, please don't sink you. We could get a snow spirit. Um, sure. Friendship between Courage and Wildhammer and Tyrannus Minithil. So basically, he just returned the um, the friendship that Tyrannus had declared. So speaking of our diplomatic situation, Blinty Boy is trusting of us. And Tinnitus is also trusting of us. This is bizarre. He distinguished... Well, to be fair, Antonitis never really hated Kel'Thuzad up until the moment Kel'Thuzad, like, crossed the line. A distinguished envoy of the Cult of Eternity Council appears before you. After the required formalities, she states her business. Your eminence, you know was Cult of Eternity is a proud and industrious people. We seek to elevate ourselves from the worldly muck of this realm. The envoy smirks. We wish to better understand the ways of magic. Over time, we even might augment our kin with the powerful flows of the Astral Sea. If you support our conquest to grow closer to the magical currents, we kindly request you construct more conduits. Absolutely. To grow closer to the magical currents of this world is all I seek. Okay, we've cleared this out for now, so what we'll do is we'll head over this way. And I believe one of these... Now, as we expand this way, we can just start plopping down conduits. I have what? I have 25 turns, so it'll be fine. I believe this is my only mana node here, so... The Rite of Astral Abundance, we could do it. Uh, Astral Inspiration... I want this. Gelbin Mechatork has withdrawn to the Astral Void. <gasps> wow. War between Anastarian and Blint. Other rulers are negotiating, and he's... Uh, you. How did you get ahead? Hmm. We're going to have to boost this. A bounty has been posted. Capture Cyracourt? No. They lost my stone because I, uh... I have been pondering the many allies and enemies I have in this realm. I am glad to see that you seem to be one of the former. Let us try to bring our empires closer. Yes, Blinty Boy. Let us grow close. Let the promise of eternity bring us to a greater future. Don't give up yet. This isn't over. You could still rise in the ranks of this world. <laughs> Encouragement has insulted me. We've been keeping track of your capability ranks. You are the most pathetic ruler. And that is how it shall be. Don't give up yet. Wow, Nerjul. I like how Nerjul is uh, encouraging me. Duke Bufo Karduk of the Free City Telesfork greets you cautiously. Really? Is there any world where I can beat him out? Where are my stones? That'll hurt my economy. Actually, did that change my economy at all? I don't think it did. Huh. We'll have to use Imperium, by the way. And it might not even be possible because, um... Terran is his order, so depending on which order spells he has... Uh, I don't want to spend Imperium, but I am going to try and compete with him. Let's see what we can do. It did hurt my economy, okay. While it is unfortunate, it's good to see that things aren't bugging out, you know? Bugs are bad. I'm sorry, what did I just see? Oh. 
how very Kel'Thuzad of me. I'm playing both sides of this war, because Terranes is invading. Um, Ner'Zhul. It's very interesting. I am unfortunately going to lose this, but... We must grow... Join us in our war, Kel'Thuzad. Together we shall crush the pathetic scourge. Terranus Minithil II is calling for your aid in his war against Ner'zhul, the Hollow. Accepting his call gives you 41 grievances to use against Ner'zhul directly. Declining will give Terranus against me. So I'm not obligated to do this. But... <laughs> You're not the only sinister spy in this world, Nezul. War it is! But I have no intention of fighting. Let them squabble on the eastern side of the kingdoms. I care not. Don't worry, Terranus. I will help you. For we are great allies. Just, um, allow me to install some. Schools, yes, yeah, schools for the magically inclined. I actually do like this. We'll take it. With some schools, I'm sure I can be of much greater aid to you. And we'll just be teaching normal magic. You know how it is. Anyway, this reduces the upkeep of our army, and it will increase our damage. I believe it gives one fortification damage to everyone in the squad. Uh, so I need to give the Bone Daddies to the Bone Daddy. Yoink. Am I saying that Kel'Thuzad is going to have a stack full of Bone Daddies? How many turns away? Two? Boost again. No. Am I saying that we could? Yes. I'm not going to make this. Your actions speak for your wisdom, Kel'Thuzad. I am glad to see our fates entwining. Of course, Antonitis. Ark, Magus, I'm sorry you caught me openly experimenting with necromancy. I would never do that. Welcome to our war, Kel'Thuzad. Yes, our war. Yeah, we uh, kind of broke our bonds with the Lich King, but that's okay. Remember, in canon, Kalthuzad offered his everything to the Lich King. But in our tale, we're finding our own path to great things. Um. Yeah. I was right there, too, you dick. One tile short. Do I have a scout nearby? No. Darn. That's definitely dangerous. I hope I can finagle around him. The downside to being friends with, um... Okay. To being friends with Antonius as well is that we aren't... We're both competing for the Echoes, right? But I can't, like, forcibly stop him from taking any Echoes, I spy. Oh yeah, I forgot this was here. So I do have a few mods enabled for Tomes. I got a request to enable Tomes that I didn't really plan on using, but just, you know, so that AI could grab them. And this is one of them, the Tome of Legions. If you are interested in seeing all of the mod lists, you can find it in the description down below. I'm not going to be doing this because I don't care. There should be another one here as well. Guess not. So now the question is, what tome do we take? We could do Doom Herald. 
But like I said, we kind of don't really need banshees. We don't. So there is something we could do, something finagling. Astral Wisps are kind of insane. So undead count as magical origin units, meaning we could use the Tome of Summoning as a synergy for them. And of course, Astral Keepers are just like superior support units. These are very good support units. And this is a combat summon? Can I not have permanent Astral Keepers? Shall we try summoning? I really want to dip my toes into another tome. Where is... There is a mod I planned on using. Oh, we're a tier short. Okay, never mind. Don't look. Don't look at the man behind the curtain. <laughs> um, I really want to start opening up Materium. I'm trying to remember if Skolomance or the Scourge ever had, like, automatons, and they didn't really, did they? Ah. Oh. That sucks. I think severing is the only one that like actually makes sense for us of all of these. Although we don't want um, severance, we just need banishment because this is anti necromancer mechanics. Wow, this sucks. We could do um, could do mayhem. Shall we do summoning? Let's do summoning. I never get the chance to do it. Through the art of summoning, one may become a master in every sense of the word. Call forth arcane minions and bend them to your will. Strengthen their connection to the world and watch as they lay down their existence for you. The one who willed them into being. Shadowborn cultist. Yeah, this sounds very, uh, cult of eternity -y. Unfortunately, this is a combat summon. I, man, I really wanted a real one of those. We'll take Arcane uh, uh, Restoration. This is a combat spell that heals all friendly magical origin units in combat for a little bit of HP. That, of course, will boost all of our undead. We are going to get the Masonic Hall, and then we'll probably go for the tower. Okay. Another thing that uh, is worth mentioning. Where camp is in. Give me that. The main reason... Ooh, dark figure. Ooh, siege spec. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this, but we're we're waiting to see how much this costs. Gelbin has returned to sector seventeen. Fair enough. Rivalry between Antonidas and Lordaeron. I think if we have to, we side with Lordaeron in all things to try and you know plant. The goal is to overthrow the alliance of Lordaeron. But what if we leave Lordaeron itself as like a little puppet state? That would be fun. Friendship between Antonidas and the Lich King. That's a sentence I never thought I would say. In case you were curious, um, the one that killed Antonidas in the lore is Arthas. The Lich King. We may not be so different after all, Kairuthuzahan. Your actions are promising. Are they? What, um, what do I need for this? I need silver tongue and haste berries. I'll pay five gold for a turn for that. Okay. What do you have? Oh shit! Hi! Thanks, Blint. <laughs> Uh, so now I have Imperial Essence, which means 82 Imperium. Another reason I was I began to mention this earlier. Another reason I accepted the war against Nerjul is uh, um, with major justification, I'm getting plus 20 Imperium. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Well done. Well done. 
And I can take Archon Blood from you. You want a Poison Orb? You want this? these shitty boots? Oh, yes you do. Oh. I forgot how good it was to have an NPC bankrolling you. Now, we can also start plopping these down. We desire. Which I don't not desire. Although, how close are we to this? And Too short. All right. Imperial Essence is complete. You love to see it We're being pillaged. We'll finish that next turn. And the Pirate Cove is being active again. We have this little uh, mobile squad here to deal with everything in the vicinity here. This will clean up our territory. Yeah, it caught me. That deck. Do I need to get them back out on the field? There are still Mystic Esther, or Astral Echoes to capture. I'm only at 41. Which is a shitload, by the way. But I'm still only at 41. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I expect losses. The only loss that is truly and absolutely unacceptable is the Ice Spider Matriarch. Everything else is fair game. Okay. I also would like some combat summons. Okay, we got one frozen. Did I ever get Strength of Soul? I think I did. one of those spears to go in the back of the dragon. I did. Excuse me, soul overflow. Okay, we'll try them up. You can face this way and go for a stun. We'll see if we hit it. We did not, of course. Unsurprising. You're going to go for a freeze. You froze the frost dragon. Someone else can explain to me how that works, because I don't get it. This won't be the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll do. Alright, it's our turn. Losing a spell shield sucks, but we can always make more. Is this a necrotize turn? Could be. We could necrotize. Oh, it died. I mean, we could necrotize this to get like a pin here. So we'll move over here with the archer. Necrotize doesn't work in the water. Today I've learned. I also don't have vision. Because of something. Today I've learned. <laughs> I don't know what I've learned, but I've learned. Man, really? So I'm still tying this up with my zone of control, but I killed that. The Ice Spider Matriarch is going to have a bit of a misty cuffs with this guy. And um, we're done. Okay. Let's go get a spear on the dragon. Um... Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna ablate the dragon. Wow, look at that. Insane resistance. He slowed so I can run away. 
I was really hoping I had a heal in the pocket. That's okay. Okay, still have a shot from there. Alright. What a crazy fight. Freaking dragons. Yep. I tried to save them, but here we are. So I lost a Soother, a Spell Shield, and a Narcanus. But I should get a Bone Daddy. I think it's Warrior, too. Alright, so you can get a Spell Shield. You can get a Soother. You can boost this out. Get a Fishmonger for more growth. We are under attack, Kel'Thuzad. We hope that you will honor your oath and come to our aid. Blint is being attacked by Anastarian. Hmm. I have minor justification. But I'm okay with this. Oh, you son of a... It took away my 20 Imperium. Flint. Flint. I'm less okay with it. Unbelievable. War between Kurdrin and Aeonis, huh? I forgot that happened that way. Ah, uh, My scheme! Welcome to the war, Kel'Thuzad. I should have declined it. <laughs> Tilted. <laughs> so the the way that works, I forgot about it. It will... I always have hated that. It basically takes your most recent justification as for your actual Imperium income. So I had to clear with major justification against Ner'Zhul... But because there's a new war I've joined that I had minor justification, which is plus zero Imperium, uh, that is my new income. I've always disliked that, and for whatever reason I thought it was changed, but this one is. Um, I don't care. I don't care. Cool. And now we are going to absorb. Oh, it's only 200. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we'll get Astral Inspiration, sure. Now, how many turns is this? Two turns? Ah, fair enough. We'll take a turn to heal up. Yeah, click to the remains of Zaduka Codex. Now. We could reanimate her for our fourth hero, but let's see what our offerings are. We'll see. Seer Avani Ark Talon of the Free City Omen Hollow greets you nervously, as they might invoke your wrath at any given moment. You might. But... For some reason... No one is trying to win you over. So I'll do it. Let's spread our talons just a little bit deeper. Dig our undead claws into them. Watch them squirm. Do I want either of these? I mean, a phase beast isn't bad. I don't like the mirror mimics. I think they're shite. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. You're almost there. It's champion where he evolves. He's so close. I think I'm going to try and take this team. We'll 
We'll try. While traveling past a hill crowned with the vestiges of a ruined castle, you hear the remote echo of a cheering crowd. You move closer to investigate. The ruins open out into a makeshift fighting arena. In the gap, formed by a broken wall, stands a group of goblinoid lords led by a ringmaster gesturing at you. A noble lich lord graces us with his presence. Welcome, blood thirsty onlooker. He smiles with a mouth missing most of its teeth. I run this mobile fighting establishment. The toughest gladiators bring home the gold. He holds up a pouch filled with coins. The ringmaster proclaims, Join the carnage, defeat my heroes, and win the gold. Or use those pretty legs to run straight back home. Fuck you. How did I know they were going to lose it? I knew it. I could feel it in me bones. That's fine. Allow me to introduce you to the greatest unit in the game. The Bone Daddy. Now the Bone Daddies... My, are they special. They are incredible creatures. That have only gotten better. We have some Banshees this time. The Bone Daddy. Is now a tier 3 charge unit. It was a tier 2 charge unit, but now it's tier 3. Ow. Despair. Smaug. And what makes the Bone Daddy so much better now, besides its tier 3 stats instead of its tier 2 stats, is that the Bone Daddy will drop a skeleton the first time this unit's total HP reaches 50% or lower. Which was 3 HP ago. It will summon a decaying zombie. Now, that is worse, mind you. Also, why don't you have tail swipes, Mo? Then, uh, the skeleton. But it's also useful because the skeleton used to consume the... What are my freezing chances here? I slowed it. Uh, the skeleton would consume the corpse. Making it so it was very unlikely, i.e. impossible, that you could resurrect him. I'm just going to heal Smout. The Bone Daddy will charge him. He'll chill there. I think Smout will be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Pain, but fine. Bone Daddy 1. Bone Daddy 2. Oh, hey. He's the king zombie. Nom, 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 nom. Huh? Did that spawn after the Bone Daddy 1? Or kill something? Hmm. Anyway. The Bone Daddies are here. And I got a pretty convincing 450 knowledge out of that, so... I'll take one. You were victorious against a band of fierce gladiators. The ringmaster grins and weaves his way past expired combatants. Amazing by the god, dear. I have not seen that sort of fighting in ages. He pats the fat coin purse on his belt. Coins jingle. I suppose you expect payment, my lich lord. He looks around and says, Pack up, boys. The battleground creep has a new owner, and his name is Kelthuzar. He grins at Kelthuzad while his underlings mutter and leave. Here's your cut of the winnings. Now we'll take our leave, he says, holding out a much smaller bag of coins. Well, it's my money now. You thought you could keep that from me? No? Alright, we're all healing up. Okay. There's a random ass skeleton that can join you. The Bone Daddy. All right. What does this front line need? That. 
I appreciate your ability to move really far. Arcane Restoration is in. Let's get Arcane Supercharged so I can make the Bone Daddy super duper duper. The target friendly magical origin unit gains plus five strength and plus three bolster defense and resistance and static charge. So stuff as it uh, deals take damage when it hits them. Unfortunately, that wasn't the thing that was empowered and maybe I should have gone for the Astral Serpent, but who cares? I don't. I dream only of the Bone Daddy. As should you. We are two conduits short. So I technically could build a conduit. I could build a conduit here. With um Mystic Abbey. Hmm. And it would be booned. Kelthuza. Soul Collector? Resistance training. Spells are ready to be cast, are they? The remains of Gunka the Gifted. So we've collected a few remains here. But as they are frogs, I can't say I particularly care. Could animate her. Don't care about the remains. Rivalry between Blint and Kurdron. We may not be so different after all, Kelthuzad. I'm still mad at you, Blint. How dare you cost me 20 Imperium per turn. Do you know how much Imperium that is? Uh, so much Imperium. It was a great scheme until I ruined it. Here's a question. If I peace out with Anisterion, do I get it back? <laughs> I don't think I do. Huh. Shadows around you shimmer and shift until a figure appears from the darkness. It is none other than first demon lord Blint, the Underdark. You who gaze into the shadow without fear have caught the attention of those beyond oblivion. Death becomes thee, Lich Lord Kelthuzad. Allow me to join you on your path to become eternal. First Demon Lord Blint the Underdark offers his aid as a hero under your command. Do you accept? Can you hear the smile on my face? Abso-fucking-lutely. Okay. I think this is a bug. But I'm not going to say no. Uh, so the reason I think this is a bug is... Typically... You can only get the assistance of one god here from your, um, your pantheon, but they added, um, they added a new, like, a set of those events to trigger that are based off your affinity. So I think we triggered both the natural variant and the affinity variant to get both Smaug and Blint, which is fucking hilarious. And you better believe Blint's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. Huh? Alright, well, we're healing up. I need to kill this. That's kind of scary. That's not. This is as well. How are we healed? So we'll wait a turn to heal up, I guess. Just hit me two turns across. How close are we to the thing? Four turns. Until the greatest trait of all time. There, in a campaign, there really is... Oh, I can cancel my silver tongue now. Oh, that's fine. There really is two stages to the campaign. Before advanced logistics and after advanced logistics. Uh, I don't particularly care for quickening right now. Rivalry between Kurdren and Blintz, wow.
Is it worth it to beat out Tyrannus? This hurts my soul. I was thinking of you, Kel'Thuzad. We have much in common. Perhaps we can bring our empires together. Perhaps we can, Gelbin. What happened to your... Oh, you're still a Warthen. Now, Gelbin... Wait, well, let's complete that. Hold on. What, Gelbin? I need the Trank Pool. Okay. So, I think I might be able to do something here. Where I join Gelbin to fuck up Antonitis. And I am interested in this idea. How are you doing, my friends? I hate... Excuse me, I hate your items. This one isn't bad. Sure, why not? All right. What was this? Is it a hat? Oh, yeah. Cool. Chess piece, whatever. All right. We're going to need to build an item forge. And the only reason I care is because Smaug needs some claws. The Cruel and Soul Drain are coming from um, his shadow aspects. And I'll be very curious to see if Smaug looks any different this time. I'm sorry, what? What is this? Why did it kill my bone, daddy? Unacceptable. Goodness gracious. How could you fucking do this? Game. Do you think this is a joke? Do you think caring about the bone, daddy, is optional? I appreciate that these assholes can't bleed. The bone, daddy, is supreme. The bone daddy is absolute. The bone daddy speaks. And you listen. Unbelievable. Un just un unprofessional, really. How dare they? I will freeze my own skeletons game. Don't test me. Hey look, I froze it all. Are these night guard? They are okay. Should've done this first for the Star Blades, but that's okay. Can you believe them, team? Killing the fucking Bone Daddy? How could you? How could you disrespect my boy? You know what? Fuck you. Oh, I can't. Babe, were you about to overcharge the Bone Daddy just to prove a point? Yes, I was. How did you know? Can I necrotize it? No. Can necrotize this, though. Let's see if I can get a freeze on this. Well. That's that, then. Oop. I do not want the Bone Daddy fighting these up front. We must weaken it. Go decay it. Wither it from the inside out. Oop. I need an actually good like offensive spell if we're gonna play with the style. I saved the bone daddy. I did what any man should have done. Eh. And I could get a few units here. Just one of each. 
Make sure our stack is still uh, ready to go. Can't believe it takes three turns to repair this shit. How many turns we got? Five. How are we doing, Miss Barov? If I go into the water, do you think they'll fight me? Shall we find out? Knowledge. Need more farms. We're about to get farms. Cool. I won't get any benefits here, but I don't think it matters. I mean, quarries are good. I'll try and just expand into it, I think. Get a blacksmith going so I can recruit stuff. A Whispering Stone has returned. Why? Because you have been besieged. You see. By who? Probably Anna sees a dick. Well, since that stone is returned, we'll give it back to you. Friendship has ended between Kurdran and, and Terranus. We have our Pact of Loyalty, so I think Thunderwell is... Is he underneath me? Wait, he's at war with Cardron now? Interesting. You have a mage bane pillaging your territory. You have a lost wizard. Okay, well, you're kind of in trouble. I can make a new bounty. Excellent to capture the Frozen Throne. Now, if history repeats itself, which it will, because it always does... What this'll do is this'll make it so that um, Terranus relentlessly throws armies at Nerjul. And I gotta be honest, Tim. I don't think I'm interested in seeing that again. We may not be so different after all, Geruzad. I like that I trade, huh? Ah, defensive pact with an economic warlord. This benefits him infinitely more than it benefits me. And I'm not about that life. So... I do like this, though. We can give this to KT. And sure. Why not? An evil presence lingers in these lands. Nice! Our little scout here has made his way back to sneak these. Go into the tower? No, get this. This is more important. I mean, the tower is cool, but get this. We must steal all of the Astral Echoes from Terranus. Oh, you tried, you bitch. You little Dark Knight asshole. Gimme. Alright. Can I do a quest without a hero? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I'm pretty sure the only, the only thing you can't do without a hero is a... A wonder. Hiya, bitches. Aww. Look at that subterfuge. We'll auto it and see what happens. It's clean. Bone Daddy. A frost immunity ring, a retributed protector, lots of resources. You love to see it. Who's at that Masonic call? Give me a market. Actually, I need a monolith. Does this need quarries? It needs quarries. I don't have a quarry. Smaug the terrible. You need a tail sweat, my dude. Uh -huh. Lady Jandus Barov. What do you need? Your soul collector. One day she'll have a good, a good weapon. You know, we'll make her a spear. No. No. Rivalry ended with Antonidas and Kurdren. Oh, darn. 
friendship with Gelbin and Blint. Interesting. Interesting. This is annoying. Hmm. Also, this place is not Manifond, by the way. Or Manifond, excuse me. This is Naxramus, which was a floating necropolis. But it's now just a, a frontal city. This will be our launching point against Aenus when the time comes. Look at this. We're like a screen and a half away from his capital city. When the time comes. He came for me. The bow. Sorry, Bone Daddy. So I already have a rainbow clover. Is that coming from a trade? I don't think it is. Yeah, I actually have this. But I, I mean, it never hurts to have another one. So what we should do... Can I put knowledge here? Yeah, so what we'll do... We'll bonk this. It's fine. Because we get another bow! Uh, we'll bonk that. And then we'll put an outpost here. This honestly would be a good spot for Naxxramas to expand, but we'll be okay. Actually, I could make this a sit- No, it's fine. We want to make sure we leave plenty of room for our... Uh... This isn't the level up, right? No. Oh, I thought that was an army I couldn't see for some reason. Okay. Alright, we grab that. We're going this way. Holy shit! It's going down. I'm yelling timber! Low risk of battle. GG. I don't want any of that. I do want that. When the war breed is defeated, he falls to the ground. Dead. But then rises again. The wailing phantasm warriors disappear. Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. The Silver Knight declares, I salute you. Songs will be sung of your victory today. The Warbeat flinches. Nevertheless, I issue this warning. When I am permitted to one day return, I will seek retribution. The Silver Knight clenches his sword's hilt. I will now leave this realm. Select one of my armaments as your keepsake. Today's victory brings glory to the empire of Lich Lord Kel'Thuzad. Just before the Silver Knight explodes into stars, you claim the knights. Um, Linebreaker probably, right? Probably line breaker. It's the line breaker. Line breaker is really funny. Is this Blinty Boy? Blinty Boy? Who is this? Oh, Blinty Boy's getting close. I don't like it, Blint. I don't know, Blint. I don't... I don't want this either. We'll take Arcane Bonds. Blint, you're getting... You're testing the waters, Blint. What do we need here? Forester, farm. Go with the farm. Make our way that way. That Masonic Hall rolling down to a singular gold rivalry between Aeonus and Terranus. Rivalry ended. Excuse me, between Antonius and Terranus. That's unfortunate. Blint wants us to capture Sun Fury Spire. Well, I would like to, but. Speaking of Sun Fury Spire. Hmm. I need to keep an eye on that. If we get a pop up that says, um,. Wow, my scout just yoinked that. Uh, if we get a pop-up that says something like Anisterion has withdrawn to the void, 
We need to capitalize on that. Also, I'd love to grab Riverbed, play my revenge. I need to do it before they become blints. I'm glad I checked. Jandis Barov, your heroine, requested an urgent audience with you. My liege, I have at long last located the long lost. Sorry, I misplaced that word. Bloody Edge. The legend that surrounds Bloody Edge inspired me to become an adventurer. The relic's mythos is so entwined with my people's culture. Even today, I heard the children of Kerbaro sing their nursery rhyme. Bloody Edge. All cult of eternity know its name. Bakers, butchers, brigadiers, none deny its fame. For centuries, it was lost. But today, I have discovered its location. The bad news is that those wretches over in Riverbed secretly stashed in their vaults for ages. We must reclaim it. And we shall. Let's -a go. I'm so slow. Blinty boy. I don't think I approve of your actions. I also should have gone this way. I need you to start expanding towards Anisteria, not towards me. Hmm. I'm gonna have to commit a bit of treachery. Not that I'm unfamiliar with the concept. Uh, the Frozen Throne has been besieged. Which is something. Okay. Six turns on this, huh? We need to get the Soul Bell going. Soul Bell will give us, will help improve our permanent soul economy. The Spell Breaker up, which will be ready and waiting to join the stack. So I need to clear this stuff as well. Oh my God, so much to do. And so little time. I don't know why I queued that. Get one of those going. Bell's ready to cast. Don't need it. Kertrin has withdrawn to the Astral Void. Okay. He's fighting. Rival between Aeonis and Blint. Good. Rival between Nerjul and Gelbin. Friendship between Terranus and Anastarian, which is not great. I think I'm going to win this. I have four more than Terranus, unless he cheats, which is possible. I was complimented. It didn't show me who complimented me, but someone complimented me, and I appreciate it. We're up to 45 Astral Echoes. That's incredible. The Altar of the Ars All Seers becomes pop, um, re makeable level five, right? Or excuse me, tier three. So we're actually almost there. Being able to benefit from our hard work. Work camp, please. One day we'll have military engineering. Not oh, this day. You are also going to join this stack. You're going this way. You're coming into the water. And uh, it'll be Blint the Underdark who inherits this legion over here. It looks like the Frozen Throne was abandoned for some reason. Terran is, is building underground. Oh, he wants this, I see. A good choice, Terranus. I think I'm now going to let this guy auto. Although, hold on. Look underground here. Blint? Really? I mean, at least he's diggy diggying, you know? But, Jim. Alright, fine. 
I mean, it is a smaller underground, but I need to get under here. Do we let Blint do that? The Underdark. I'm hesitant to give him a defensive pack. Friendship between Anastarian and Taranus. Friendship between Kurdren and Antonitis. The ruler has started negotiating, but it is too late, Antonitis. The cats are mine. Mr. Bigglesworth will be proud. And Syracourt is ours. I will take the mana for free, thank you very much. Where are you going to attack, though? Hmm. Can you clear this crap? I mean, you know. Go take that, that's fine. By the way, let's make sure all of our... Uh, zero for knowledge, yep. Food? Yep. We'll see uh, how that's all going. Can't cooperate with you guys because you are incorporated already. Fair enough. Our scouts are doing well. So we've secured a nice little corner of the map for ourselves. I still need to clear all this crap out. There's a world... I don't know if we live in this world. There's a world where, like, a third city comes down over here. Um, mostly because... Yes. Because, um, metropolitan society is legit insane. Anyway, it's time for advanced logistics. We're now playing the video game. I don't have inspiring leader or experience leader on anybody, I'm afraid. Um Do you want to stay here and deal with this smog? Eventually, smog, you're going to have to be on your own. You know what, we'll let her take care of this. It hurts me to do this, team. But I need the spellbreaker in my team. So we'll let the we'll let one of the bone daddies travel with us. Now, in case you are unawares, advanced logistics is the greatest ability in the game. The greatest imperium trait in the game. Grabbing soul binders because what it does is it makes it so roads will cost three movement points instead of five, and units gain fast embark, so they will instantly embark in the water. And while embark, they gain very fast movement on the world map. So we can use the waterways to uh, very swiftly move about the map. And we are, of course, recruiting Lindsay Boy. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hello, Blintz. It's good to see you. Now, Blintz had his own playthrough quite some time ago. The Underdark. So, uh, he'll be up against... A, var a variant Blintz. This hero's melee attacks gain inflict negative morale. Chance of inflicting dominated on units with m morale of very low or worse. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to respect him. I'm going to let him keep that. <laughs> All right, Blint. Yeah, you do you. That's cool. Anastarian has withdrawn. I can't negotiate when he withdraws. Right. So it looks like he got his ass beat. Maybe he will, when he returns, he'll accept that. Rival between Blint and Antonitis. I realize now it's confusing that we have two blints in the map, but don't worry. My blint's the cool blint. Oh, this is so close. This is making me nervous. But I think we're good. I think we're cool, team. Because we're, we're even growing faster than his is. Friendship between Kurdren and Antonidas. Okay, we can make a bounty. Do I care? Not particularly. It'd be fun if I could make a bounty against Blint. You know? That would be fun. 
Good, and I can go. 46 astral echoes in a dream. I like how we're right outside the frozen throne with our scout and can't touch this. Da na na na. Da na. Na na. Boom, look at that. <laughs> I couldn't even jinx it. My scouts are so slippery. This is a little bit more concerning. It's a full wipe. Ooh, okay. Um, this isn't a very good stack, TBH. We want to try and get into a position that favors us. With the terrain. I'll do. We're going to have to cast a lot of magic here. That will probably be all that's... Is that dual awakening? Keeps us going. What do we have? Um, ba 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 I mean, this is the scary thing, right? Well, okay. I did that so I could try and stun here. We got them both. Wow, fantastic. This is going to be a charge here, but... I think it'll be okay. Then why just zap something? I of course should have zapped something first for the star blades. Holy shite bag. Alright, well. It's very unfortunate Necrotize doesn't give you a, a Zambi on the high seas, but it was probably breaking stuff. Ow. Even with Cavalry Slayer. This may be a death, but at least it's not a flawless death, you know? I need to just high up this archer. a lot of damage from the Sun Priest. Oh, I guess technically... Yeah, we are weak to this, aren't we? Yeah. Awakening increases spirit damage, and um, skeletons are weak to spirit damage. Spirit and fire. So, I did my best. Shall we try? A 64 mana. I don't know if you were 64 mana, but that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Okay, I almost wiped them. That's good enough for me. Went on my own terms. Now see, that looks a lot better. Blint. Show him the way. With a free kill. Alrighty, let's get to work. Give me my ruins back. Get a mage and a warrior to join me. Then we'll take on the cove. Thanks, man. Let him go. The Dragon's Bane. Oh, look at that. I don't really, really think I'm fighting dragons right now, but this is a dragon. I don't know if I'll be able to take this, 
But I would like to have this. That wouldn't be a bad grab. Yoink. So, let's get a Spellbreaker. Man, seven turns. It sucks. And we'll get the Grand Wharf. I don't know if I should have boosted that. <laughs> Mild regrets. We can get some economy here. I'll let him go, whatever. Staff of the Blizzard. Ooh, that could be good for Kel'Thuzad. It's, I think that's the same damage type, too. Yeah. It's even more. Why? Because it's a tier 2 staff. And Hindering Blizzard is quite powerful. Thanks, Bone Daddy. You're the best. Around! Do you need a spell shield? Not really. It wouldn't hurt, but not really. Um, you guys could use a spell shield, sure. The Throne of Eternity. We are, what? 13 turns out, and I still have... Fine. We'll get the conduits, and then we can just convert them later. Let it be known that Nerjul the Hollow has crossed me. That's fine. Defensive pact between Blint and Tyrannus. Oh... Ah, friendship has ended between Nerjul and Antonidas. That's good. War has ended between Mother Trucker. Mm, okay. That was mine. It's mine, Blint. Debating on what to do here. So I can call him to war, and if he declines, that will deteriorate our relationship. Or he'll just accept it. Okay. Air. Thought I still had a few turns before he got this. Well now my quest will never be done. Unless I turn on unless I turn super traitor on Blintz. I have been pondering the many enemies and allies. Have you, Blintz? I'm really I'm good. A good kill the sun. That's fine. We're, the illusion is being maintained. Yeah, that's that's what we're going with. The Cult of Eternity has eluded the world into thinking, deluded the world into thinking that we're good guys. I'm going to take the Rite of Forbidden Knowledge because I want knowledge. Because it's time for our Tier 3 Tomes. Now, there is a Tome type. I don't remember the name of the mod. But uh, it adds two Shadow Tomes, two Shadow Order Tomes, and one, I had to take it because of the name, is the Tome of the Death Knight. So, uh, I don't know what this does. I haven't the faintest idea. But I thought it would be fun. Of course, that takes place after this, the Tome of Great Transformation, which is incredible. I believe this is the last tome that really got touched in the overhaul. Is Marked for Death always here? Marked for Death might be new. Target sustains 15 unblockable physical damage, loses 10 morale, has a decaying zombie spawn adjacent to them, and is afflicted with visions of death until the end of combat. That sounds cool. So every single turn... The spell will repeat on itself, basically. That's cool. But the big change here is that Summon Reaper, the Reaper got buffed. It is no longer the shittiest mythic unit in the game. I wonder what would be now. Well, it's not the Reaper anymore. That's what's important. Uh, I still hate Harvest Population, but... Dang. It is what it is. So let's going to grab the Great Transformation first. This 
gives us the third and final reanimation mechanic, the Bone Dragon reanimation. When killing non-racial tier 5 units, we gain the option to reanimate a Bone Dragon. We haven't encountered any tier 5s yet. Actually, we have one. There's a Kara that we autoed. That was it. And the rest of this, I think, is pretty simple. Very straightforward. We have the Whiteborn as well, which we'll be taking. So it's time for Great Transformation. Once you have felt the power of necromancy, you begin to grasp a greater truth. An empire does not really require life to truly live. Life is untidy. It is unpredictable and inefficient. Grant your people the gift everlasting undeath, and they shall repay you with eternal, ordered obedience. Indeed. Don't let these twos deceive you. Um, this is overlapping, overflowing, there we go, uh, knowledge from our right that is feeding into this. So we're going to lock a Fetid Legion, and we're going to grab a Whiteborn, which is our major racial transformation. We have also unlocked the Bind Golden Wonder spell. We have found zero of those. Does Rivergate know where any are? No, but Rivergate... He's going to ask for more of my Imperium. Do I even try and compete with them? And by them, of course, I mean Paranus. Paranus is already at 24. There's a Dragon Slayer here. That sounds like Bone Dragons to me. <laughs> I can throw these at them and see how it goes. Let's look at Antonidas. He has a guardian tree. Hmm. So now that we have access to the uh, Bind Golden Wonder, shall we see what it takes for this? There are four. It requires four ancient wonders on this map. Okay. The Lich King. Has caught one of my scouts. Well, that guy's gonna suffer a horrible, painful death. And my burb has been caught as well. By a what? What are you? No, oh, Warren. Well, that's unfortunate. Yoink. Ooh. Look at my little scout here. My scout knows what's up. Oh, beautiful. Keep going. Keep doing your thing. All right, we're going to be taking this, which means I need to plop down a thing here. And we'll conquer that next turn. You will join me. She has an undead lord or whatever it's called, unholy leader. Uh, so all the undead need to be here in her stack to gain the most benefits. You're moving. Blintz. My Blintz. Ooh, look at this. Put a low level high. Tra wow, okay. Fine. So Blint has a lot of uh, tricks up his sleeve. Those are a lot of archers. Uh, least of which is the Charging Leap. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to chill. And I'm going to let Blint charge into that next turn. Alright. I'm also... Can you reach? Of course you can. I'm going to supercharge the Bone Daddy for the beams. But Fabe, should you really be memeing when you suffer so? Probably not. Eh, who cares? Oh! Alrighty. What are you? Just a shock. There's no mounted unit here, so... We'll just grab the spears, tie this up. We'll have our... Oh, 
supercharged boy do supercharged stuff. And we'll uh, go this way. Spray my web. Which sounds... Mimi, but what I'm doing. I wasn't expecting to hit that guy. I was hoping I would miss and land amongst the nearby targets. That was the hope, of course, but, you know. Uh, I am worried about the Spoder here, actually, because those are giant slayers with overwhelming tactics. But good news, I do have a plan. Now, here's a question. No. For some reason, I thought this was a magical origin unit, but it's not. Okay, I had a plan. And I no longer do. Um... gonna ablate these and pray to the dark gods. I should have howled first. You have... I can't tell which of these has more models. We're gonna kill that one first. Okay. I definitely needed to howl first with Blint. Come on! No, you can reach! My spoder. My spoder! You sons of bitches. You assholes. How dare you manipulate my poor positioning. I debated reloading to save it, but it's fine. It was my fault. Go away. And you know what else happens? Wow, do I just get a legion of skeletons? It was my fault. But on top of that... Ah, let's have it again. On top of that... I get all my Imperium back. So, at the end of the day... While it was an unfortunate accident... Perhaps it was a necessity. Perhaps. Yoink. Well, um, Riverbed is Blintz now. Hmm. There's really no way for me to stop that. I suppose in that case, I can just go be annoying. <laughs> Shall we go be annoying? If Blint captured that city in the hopes, the vain hopes, that I would permit him to take this wonder, he's out of his mind. See, this could be a city. Ah, wouldn't be a very good city. Never mind. Hey, Jandis. What do you want, Jandis? You want spur to action. New Empire skills aren't available. I do want Philosopher Soldiers. And I might even want Rite of the Astral Summons. Is it time for Shadow Binding? Nope. That 
that's not happening. Defensive bank between Gelbin and Tyrannus. Other rulers are negotiating. Yeah. Tyrannus is ahead of me, but I think things are going okay because everyone likes me right now for some reason. Rivalry between Tyrannus and Kodron. I'm about to vassalize a free city, which is fine. I tried... Huh. You want a fire giant? I want a fire giant. So we get a fire giant. Hey, Tyrannus. Did you know, Tyrannus, that when you lose a tier 4 unit, it hurts your soul? But a quick way to recover from that is to take a tier 5 unit. It really... It really helps just salve the wound, you know? And it would help if I could remember how much it takes. No, 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 no. Give him trash. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, tier 5 unit. Oh, it's tier 4, but yeah, that's fine. We replace one tier 4 unit with another tier 4 unit. And it's like nothing changed at all. You have a stone giant. I have a fire giant. One of those is cooler than the other. Do you know Sutra, the ruler of Muspelheim? Lord of the fire giants? Because I knew him. As a wizard king, you have seen the astral void and memories of it haunt you. Even now, you find your mind drifting back. You are haunted by lonesome centuries spent floating in the vast nothingness of the void, where monstrous voices from your past twisted and distorted your deepest convictions. You saw visions of a grimmer future riddled by loss and insanity. More than once you felt your soul dissolve in the endless void. In the darkness, you had but one thing to hold on to. A piece of who you were before. What memory preserved your sanity? Well, I suppose this is like a memory of Kalthazad's canonical life. And in that case, he mastered the forbidden and lost lore. Whiteborn is in the Bone Dragon. Is ready. Next turn. I need 100 souls for Whiteborn, so we need to start cracking. Then you start actually building the soul wells. <laughs> but I have so many things to build. So much to construct. Mm -hmm. This really is difficult. Let's go. As Jandis Barov nears the gates of the haunted halls, the noise of busy pickaxes echoes from its walls. A band of grave robbers can be spotted working inside, but before Jandis can act, one of the grave robbers yells in a horror when a skeletal hand grabs its arm. The grave robbers flee, leaving Jandis and her army to deal with the Reaper and other horrors that emerge from the coffin around them. The grave robbers' greed has awakened the dead, and Jandis finds herself in the middle of it. Call upon the magics of death to delay the undead assault. Oof. That is a skell- a difficult- oh my goodness. Shall we watch the replay for the first? I have never watched a replay in a channel, or in a video before, on the channel. So what this is, is uh, we can watch how the AI won this, because I was befuddled. So the Finger of Death was resisted, which is cool. The Bone Dragon went for a, we'll slow down to two, a Breath. 
on only two units. We slowed the Reaper, you know what that means. Got some good bonks. It looks like Jandis used her body to bait out some very aggressive positioning from the AI. Which is uh, what I'm going with. We got a tail swipe, but it wasn't that big of a deal. That was more of a big deal, but we got a freeze. How did that happen? Huh. Is it her shield? That might have been her shield. Either way, that's incredible. Oh, they used um, Magic Essence Restore or whatever. Heal all magical origin units, which is the undead count as, which is why I picked up the Tome of Summoning. That, of course, will not heal our poor spell shields over here battling the Bone Wyvern. A good shout, though. Well done, AI. They're using the little skeleton here as defense for the, uh, the Boyo. The Wyvern is about to body the spell shield. The Bone Daddy's coming in to say hello. This went well. Although he's cursed, he's about to open up two tomes. Dooms. Uh, the AI has revived. Oh, they're pulling back with the spell shield. Interesting. But that won't save him from the disease. He needs to soul overflow. Yeah, there goes the poison. We opened up one fake skeleton. He had greater The Reaper has greater consumed life. Or greater consumed corpse. The Bone Daddy ate a smaller corpse. The fight continues. Wow. There's the whirlwind. Is that not your friendly fire? Interesting. Skeletons boned the Bone Daddy. We uh, slowed the Reaper, and you know what that means. <laughs> this would be when Jandis dies. Oh, yeah. Okay, someone actually commented on an older video, the Arcan one of the Arcan videos, where if a hero dies in a mission, I wonder, they come back no matter what. Interesting. So they sacked Jandis to get that win. That wasn't bad. That was pretty good. You know what? We'll take it. I watched it, so that means, like, I played it, right? Jandis Berov has survived the undead onslaught in the haunted halls. Now the tomb is safe to be searched. But the grave robbers long gone, your army wastes no time, and immediately starts to gather any knowledge they can find about the people who were buried here. This tomb belonged to a fallen king, who was buried with his entire court following his assassination. One of Jandos Jandis Berov's soldiers points to a few decorated coffins elevated above all others. Their contents ought to be special. Thanks for the knowledge. Oh, the bolt shredder. Lol. Uh, I'll take the money. The bolt shredder's okay. It just requires some... the mm. nest to use. Now, we did sacrifice the spell shield for it, but I don't particularly care. All in service to the cult must give their lives to the greater good. That's how this works. Like, I'm just going around grabbing money here. Pike of the Chaos Consumer. No. I should have given you... This. Blint is level 4. And as with all others... Oh my, he rolled both Blink and Demon Stab. Okay, we're going to take Blink, because Blink... It feels like Blink is a really rare. Do I go... I mean, Blint's a brawler. We all know that. Well, whatever. Grab Unholy Leader first with the Bone Daddies. And no other reason. Do we have Blint on Blint action back here? I mean, we could. That's four freaking pirates. We can stand here and it will bait them in. Actually. Son of a bitch. Hmm. This could be a problem. 
That could be a problem. Hey, look, it's Anus. Look at him. He's doing great. I'm gonna let the AI waddle about. So as mentioned, this will be our stronghold against Aonis. So we'll let him chill. And uh, we'll head back towards our domain. We have a monolith. Okay, so here we go. The Altar of the All Seers is a mystic-only construct, which grants plus 20 knowledge per 5 Astral Echoes and 20 mana income per 5 Astral Echoes. And we have almost 10 times that, which would be 200 of each. Also grants the All Seers Blessing to every unit produced, which gives additional vision range and true sight, so there's no stealth shenanigans in our domain. Uh, this cannot be, by the way, boosted. So I'm debating on taking the grant on just building it. <laughs> just build it, forehead. Do I just go tier 3? We'll, we'll give it a turn. We have a lot of money to spend. There's no reason to go crazy. You're also going tier 3. Cool. More Archon Blood is in. We are waiting for the White Born, but we can go ahead and cost Soul Binders, which I should have done before I did any fighting. This should increase our soul economy as we continue to squabble and battle and fight it out with mages. Uh, we'll do the Rite of Heroes eventually. Anastarian has returned. Can I cheese out a piece with you, my dude? Close, but no. Rivalry. Between Antonitis and Terranus. Interesting. Rival between Kurdron and Terranus. Negotiations have begun here, but it's okay. I think we're really close here. I might not need to boost this, actually. As long as I stay good. But if we do our treacherous shenanigans, we may have to rethink that strategy. The plan is once all of the vassals have like come to our side, once we've grabbed as many of them as possible, then we lift the veil behind the cults. And uh, shit gets real, as the kids say. This is going to be a problem because Kel'Thuzad and Smaug are going to be attacked and pull in all of this. But that's going to be a problem for next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed Keldazad's peculiar journey to becoming a master of necromancy. Next time, he shall become a lich proper. I think there's a mod I can use to make it so he keeps his hair. Otherwise, he goes bald. I'll look into that. But he become a lich proper, and his journey has only just begun. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to stay up to the channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.